Hi, in this video you will learn how to edit XY scatter and radar charts in our graph templates. There are totally 7 different options available when it comes to XY scatter chart and radar charts here. Let us go to each of the charts and see how they work, where they are used and how we can edit the data. First let us go to this one. This shows correlation with exponential trend line. As you may already know, XY charts are usually used to show correlation between two different factors. For example, in this template you can see how this chart shows the correlation between number of sales calls made and the total sales in millions. This one shows that there is actually a positive correlation. That means when there are more number of sales calls made, there is more sales that happens. This exponential trend line is automatically calculated and these data points can always be edited. For example, if I want to edit this chart, all I need to do is to right click, go to edit data and I can input my values for X and Y. For example, if instead of 75, if I want to say 55 as the value for X, you can see that this particular point has moved from here to here. So that is how these kind of charts are edited. Let us go to the next one. This shows sales volume per price point. In other words, this chart shows how sales volume is affected by the change in price. It shows that when the price is low, the volume is low. When the price is increased to a certain level, the volume increases significantly. And after a certain level, if you increase the price, then the sales volume goes down. So that is what is shown here in this specific chart. And just as I told you earlier, all we need to do to edit the numbers is to go to edit data and change the values for X and Y. In this case, X is represented by the price points and Y is the sales volume against each of the price points. Now, all we did here to make this chart more meaningful is to add context by way of this two by two matrix. Let us go forward. This one shows price versus profits. This chart is stripped of all unnecessary clutter and it only has the values. And as you can see here for the different price points, what exactly is the profits you get is shown here. So this is a basic radar chart with lines. This chart shows the performance of two different products indicated by blue and red lines and shows how the sales volume differs by months. For example, in this case, you can see that product one seems to sell quite a lot in the month of February, whereas product two seems to sell quite a lot of quite a lot in the month of May. So that is how you need to read this radar chart. And this is a simple one. And to edit the values, all you need to do is to go to edit data and change the values for product one and product two. Now this one is another variation of radar chart. Here we have added transparent fill for the three different brand components. Now this chart is the same as the previous one. The only difference is there is color fill here. In this case, we have semi-transparent color fill. And instead of two products, here we have three different brands represented and the sales of these three different brands shown here by way of the radar chart. Now this chart is very interesting. This chart pretty much mimics a clock and you can see the call waiting time across the various hours. As you can see here, around nine o'clock, there is a long period of call waiting, whereas the call waiting is the least around 12 o'clock in the midnight. So that is how you need to read this chart. And it's a very beautiful representation, especially when you want to use this chart for call center operations or for any of the backend operations. Hope you really like the kind of variations we have for XY and radar charts. In the next video, I'll show you another set of templates and how they work. See you in the next video.